Hey, 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 and welcome to another edition of Cardi Snippets. In Cardi's Fitness Snippets, we aim to give you little, little chunks of fitness and health-related information that's going to make your life a lot better. Now, in today's Cardi Snippets, I want you to just like and subscribe and tell the world about us too. No, you can do that. Please do that anyway. But listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do a three-minute workout that's literally just for calf and ankle. So listen, if you're going to the gym and you want to warm up your lower half, your ankles and your calves and you're doing a calf workout, or you're a runner that literally wants to go for a long distance run, you can do these three minutes and then you'll literally, you'll be so warm and you can actually substitute it for a workout as well. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm going to use my trusty timer on my phone, on my watch here, okay, to do the one minute. So I want you to stand like this and we're going to go up and down. Like I want you to keep your knees, we've started, keep your knees over your toes and we're just going to go up and down like that, onto the balls of your feet and down. Okay, it might not feel like anything at first. Okay, as I'm talking to you, we're going up and down. But guess what? After a little while, you're gonna feel the blood flowing to your calf muscles. And some people who haven't got the strength or the endurance or the stamina to do this, you're gonna have to stop. And you can feel free to stop at any time you want. Okay, and then rejoin us at any time you want. Okay, so the toes are facing the front. I'm going up and down onto the balls of my feet. I'm standing about two shoulder widths apart and I'm keeping my abdominal muscles in. Dummy, dummy in, dummy, dummy, dummy in. Dummy, dummy in, dummy, dummy, dummy in. Yes, baby, that's the way to do it. Okay, so I'm just going up and down and I'm feeling good. Okay, and I've got a little bit of a squeeze on my buttocks, on my buttocks as well. Okay, so you can do that too. Okay, how's it feeling? It, it should be quite easy, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? We've got, we've done, we've done our first minute. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn out slightly like you're doing a ballerina class, okay? And then we're going to go up and down almost like a second position and continue the exercise. This time I want you to focus on putting the weight onto the ball of your foot and coming down towards the arch of your foot, okay? Lift and down. Nice and easy. Now, some of you are probably thinking, well, it don't hurt, don't hurt. Well, listen, if it don't hurt, want to literally and you're way into this and you've done this a few times you can do this like almost like a double time so you can go up and up and up and up but for the meantime you know we'll just go up and down okay just nice and slow nice and easy tummy tummy in tummy 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 in tummy tummy in tummy 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 in it ain't a sin to keep tummy tummy in ain't no sin to keep your tummy tummy in lift come on just look up and down okay up and down nice and easy i'm keeping my tummy in my body's up right Okay, so you can do this just before you go out for a run or just before you want to train or use it as part of your warm-up in the gym. Okay, keep this, squeeze your buttocks when you're doing this one, all right? Squeeze your buttocks. Okay, okay, that's it. That's the second set. The third set, we're going to turn our feet in like a pigeon toes. Okay, okay. And we lift right up and I want you to really go up onto the balls of your feet and land down on your, on your arch of your foot. Okay, lift. Okay, so each one, each set, each position is done for one minute. Are you with me on that? Okay, because I can see you doing this, all you runners out there, you know, that you go out and you just start running. Do you really do a proper warm up for your lower extremities, for your ankles that are constantly pounding the ground? Those people that are in the gym, when you start doing leg workouts and squats, are you really warm enough in your lower half? You know, you, most people tend to warm up their knees and their hips, but do you really warm up your lower half? Come on, you can integrate this, it'll be brilliant. Or you can just get out of bed in the morning and you can just do it, you know, in your bedroom before you've actually done anything. Okay, it's be awesome. You've got 10 seconds to go. Okay, but listen, I'm gonna throw in one last minute for those people that's saying, I can't really feel it, I can't really feel it. Okay, and it's the, we're gonna go back to our first position. Toes in front, and then we go double time, lift. So we just literally try and get as many of these in as you can. Come on. Up and down, up and down. If you want it, you can put your hands behind your head like that. So we just go up and down like that. Breathe. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. So you can put your hands behind your head and you go up and down, 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 up and down. Looking good. Keep, keep your tummy, tummy in. Tummy, tummy in. Tummy, tummy in. Keep your tummy, tummy in. Come on, you're almost there. Let's have a look. We must have done about 30 seconds by now. Keep your, look, your buttocks squeezed. Keep your tummy in. Come on, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Think about them calf muscles, come on. This is the best part 
I think, to do the doubles for me anyway, okay? Because I, I, I find this very quite easy. But, and you will too, if you don't already. Come on, come on, you've got a few seconds left to go. Let's have a look how much time you got. Come on, five seconds. Come on, all the way up and down, 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 up and down. Come on. Okay, and relax. That's it. That was three minutes with an extra minute bonus. Now, you're gonna have to now, from here, you're gonna have to either now stretch or you just go into your, to your, your, uh, into your workout. Now, if you're stretching, you might wanna do this one. Go on to a downward dog position, cross one leg over the other and press. So this leg is crossed over there. So I'm stretching my calf muscle. You can do your calf muscle stretch up against the wall if you want, you know? But I find for somebody like me who uh, likes a downward dog, uh, uh, um, exercise, if I do these, I find that I recalibrate my calf muscles back to almost to pre-exercise level and it feels good. And I do both of them, you know, press down, push the heel of, into the heel of my hands. If you want to do a calf muscle, up a stretch up against the wall, you can do so too. Now that is what I would do. You might feel your legs a little bit wobbly, but that's a good sign. Okay, if you like these cardio snippets, like, subscribe, tell your friends, share it, you know? And if you've got any ideas for any exercises that you want me to show you, please feel free to do so. If you're interested in this, you can get, click the link below this video and uh, you can join my Patreon or you can join my Club Cardi, you know? And I've got some fantastic things coming soon as well. So I'll see you on the flip side, people. See ya. Ciao.